Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 19th. This week, we're going to jump right in here. You have this web of creation. It says, be aware of what you're weaving in your life to create better experiences. You have this crescent moon card. It says, as the moon grows, so can your wealth, health, and happiness. Stay positive. So definitely it would be a good time to stay positive. You know, that web of creation card is basically saying, uh, stay positive as well. It says, be aware of what uh, of what you're weaving in your life. So I would definitely keep it positive at this time. Um, but you have the nine of wands, the magician, and the five of swords. I think with the nine of wands and the magician, it would be a good time for you to kind of like protect one of your ideas. Um, you know, because the magician can represent like trying to manifest something here on earth. And the, the nine of wands can represent kind of like boundaries or placing boundaries against anything that could potentially get in the way. So I think that it's better to like not tell people what you're doing until you've already done it. And, um, you know, obviously there is, you know, all the other thing I will say is that you can ask for help. So, you know, I think sometimes people think when I say, like, don't tell anyone that you literally can't tell anyone, but you have the Three of Pentacles right next to this Nine of Wands, and Three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork or collaboration. So obviously, if you have to, hi like, hire an employee or if you're, like, trying to get something done for whatever your idea is, because it looks like you have a big idea here, um, you know, obviously, you can open up to those people. Obviously, you have to tell those people what to do. So the two things can be true at once. You can keep your an idea to yourself and you know again obviously if you need help there might be certain people that you can up, open up to i think what's more important is that you open up to people that are supportive of your ideas it reminds me of there's a book that i'm not going to rem remember <laughs> that i don't remember but there is a book about this where in the book the person who wrote the book i'll try to remember what book it is but they say that you know it's not true that you shouldn't tell people but what is true if you tell people who support you who push you to do things then you're actually more likely to get it accomplished but obviously if you tell people who hate on your dreams and hate on your ideas. I think those are the people that you need to be careful of with the nine of wands. But again, obviously, if there are people who support you or that are going to be working for you or whatever, tell those people. Uh, you have the magician. The magician is about manifesting something on earth. I kind of get preparation here on the magician is really the message I'm getting off of the card. So I'm not getting like traditional magician energy off of this card. I think it's just saying that you are ready. You know, I, I, like, I feel like you have learned and mastered everything that you can or need to master to uh, you know get, start work on that project or that business idea or whatever whatever change or whatever you're thinking about doing right now you know it could even be love for some of you i feel like the magician is saying that you have reached the point where you are ready to get started uh, you have the Five of Swords here. You know, Five of Swords can represent conflict or separation, uh, but the Five of Swords to me can represent taking a risk as well. And I think it would be an amazing time for you to take the risk of, again, getting started on something that you want to get started on. We even go up to the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles says it's time to plant those first few seeds, right? It's time to uh, take the first few steps towards something uh, that you're working on creating or that you want in your life. And if you do that, it will grow. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, you have the Strength card. So again, the Strength card would say that you have learned, you know, strength is about developing strength. So the Strength card says you need to trust yourself because you have learned who you can trust and who you can't. But I don't even think it has to do with trust. It's like maybe you have a friend where maybe they're a good friend, but at the same time, maybe you know that they hate on your ideas or they're, that they're not supportive or they don't say the right things to you. And I feel like this is saying like, avoid that person, right? It's like, you know, I've been working on a startup for like two years and I've only just revealed it to my parents that I'm like even doing this. My parents are very supportive, but at the same time, they sometimes, I love them, but they sometimes say things that kind of, you know, push me in the wrong direction. So I didn't tell them, right? <laughs> now they know, now that it's built, that it's done. So again, I think the strength card is saying, you know, who you can tell, even if you love a person, like your own parents or whatever, right? It's like maybe you know the right people that you can tell and that you can't. Now with the Magician, you have the Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen of Cups is about following your heart, and we also end with the Ace of Cups, which is also, you know, the Ace of Cups could be love, but the Ace of Cups is really a card of fulfilling your own heart or doing something that does fulfill you. And so if you are following your heart, the Magician says that you are going to attract something uh, very, very quickly. Sorry, I didn't want to pull that card yet. 
Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the Emperor. The Emperor is about taking lead. You will always get the Emperor f with me, your opposite sign, which is very interesting. You know, so what I would say there is like sometimes I think we are meant to work with our opposite sign energy or or just doing a little bit of our opposite sign energy would be a good idea, right? Could help us get organized. I'll give you a great example. Every single day, I have this little notebook. This is actually a new one, right? A little fields note. And in this notebook, I, I learned this from Peter McKinnon, but uh, I write down eight things every single day that will move my business forward, that will help me you know, accomplish something or do something in my life, right? So every single day in here, I write down my eight my eight things that I need to accomplish. And most days I accomplish more. Um, but I'm a Pisces, right? So I'm a scatterbrained Pisces. That is like a very Virgo thing to do. Virgo is my opposite sign. So I think for you with the emperor showing up, it's like saying, you know, uh, starting something, right? Uh, the thing with Aries is that they're really good at starting things, but they don't always have the follow through. But what I think this is saying going this way is that for you it's about starting something and you actually show up right here um you know the six of pentacles he's holding this scale this libra card so it's like saying starting whatever you're thinking about starting like getting started you know hitting hitting the gas and it will kind of like carry you through and help you accomplish something uh, you know, and again, I would go research Aries. There's like probably a million things that you could do in your life. And again, I only do one thing, but it changed my life. I've been doing this for years now and totally made me a million times more productive. So whatever, I don't want to keep ranting about this, but whatever that Aries energy is, I think it's something that could make you more productive or it could uh, make you more successful. Uh, you have this Sierra card that says, follow your intuition. You also have this Oracle that says, seek guidance and uh, uh, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So it could be, you know, you have the three of pentacles. So again, it could be, an amazing time to seek information or guidance from a person if you are looking to start something new or if you're looking to improve your life in some way. You have the Three of Pentacles, which says teamwork makes a dream work. You know, what's popping into my head as well is like if you have a project that you want to start and you really don't want to tell anyone, which is fine based off of this reading, you know, this could also say look for an example. You know, he's already completed these Three Pentacles. So maybe you have a business idea or maybe you have an idea for a relationship or whatever. I feel like this is saying find good examples in the world uh, that exist that you can follow where you can like follow their lead. You don't necessarily have to tell the person what they're doing, but you know, there's an amazing amount of information just on YouTube where you can learn from people who are you know more successful than you and I feel like the three of Pentacles is saying you know follow those examples because that's where where you'll find success again with the Emperor I kind of feel like the six of Pentacles is saying that it's time to take that first step again uh, Aries is great they're great starters they're not necessarily great finishers but they are great starters and of course it's not always true I think most of the stuff people say about um, you know sun signs is BS in the first place right like you know everybody says like oh Libra is good at doing this or Libra does that or whatever and it's like most of that stuff it's like I, I have like a million Libra friends that, are, that prove it wrong right <laughs> so I think the whole like the basic astrology information it's like like kind of true but also it leaves a lot out right and you know it leaves out life experience right like I think most of us we have life experiences and because of those life experiences uh, you know we aren't necessarily exactly like our our sun sign and but again I think that taking the first step in uh, getting started on something is what this is encouraging you to do uh, six of Pentacles to me says plant the first seed you know put that first seed in the soil for something to grow and it will grow uh, you have the Seven of Cups. I, I think the Seven of Cups is kind of holding back air signs right now for whatever freaking reason. I have no clue. But the Seven of Cups is about dreaming of something, imagining something. But he's looking at all the options. You know, he's dreaming of his dream. But there are good things and bad things in those cups. So he is thinking, like he's dreaming about something and he sees the good stuff, but then he sees the bad stuff. And maybe it's preventing you from getting started. It's like you see the good th parts of a relationship if you want a relationship, but you see the bad parts of a relationship as well. And so it might be holding you back. And again, the, the Seven of Cups encourages the adventure. It says, bring it down to earth anyway and see what's going to happen. Life is all about experiences. And so just ha look at things as an experience and you know don't attach too much to it. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is great clarity. And we have this going over to the Ace of Cups. So I think you are gaining a lot of clarity in your life. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, uh, you cannot make this up. <laughs> he All he has to do is plant that seed in that empty field behind him and it will grow. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is about being too cautious, hesitating, um, you know, playing it too safe. And the Knight of Pentacles has all the knowledge and wisdom necessary to be very successful. He just has to plant that first seed in that field behind him and it will grow. So I think it's time for you to like plant those seeds. 
With the Seven of Cups, you have the Lovers. The Lovers, of course, I was getting love. That's why I kept using love as an example. I'm not saying that all of you want love, of course, but we have the Page of Cups right next to him, uh, ne next to the Lovers card. So again, I do feel some of you that want love, uh, you could be hesitating or you could be feeling resistance based off of past experiences. And again, if you're meeting a new person, I would just treat it as an experience. Again, you know, just say like, you know, this is just an experience I'm going to have and I'm just going to see how it goes. And you know what's funny is I've, I've had so many people over the years, I, like I've been saying this for years, just treat it as an experience, just treat it as fun. And I've had so many people tell me, that when they do that, when they don't take it too seriously, it's like the best relationship they've ever had. So, you know, again, I, I think that if we can just look at it as, it as we're just here to experience, we're here to go through these experiences, we're just here to have fun, right, and create our own reality, then I think if you do that, you'll, you could attract something great. Uh, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this relaxation card and this blessings card. So there are, you know, relax because there are blessings coming in for you. I feel like there's nothing to worry about and you are just going to experience blessings. I'm also hearing like positive omen as well. Um, you know, you, you, it, that bird kind of looks like a canary. I don't know. I'm not up on my, I'm not up on my birds, but it kind of looks like a canary. You know, they say canary in a coal mine, right? It, it's kind of like a warning, but this is not in a coal mine. This, this canary is out in the wild. So again, I think that you could be attracting something that's very like pure. You know, the reason they use canaries is because they're very sensitive, right? But this canary is, uh, if it is a canary, I don't know what it's meant to be. Uh, it's kind of like in the wild. It's it, it, in fresh air. And I think that for a lot of you, this could be a breath of fresh air that's coming in for you. Uh, you have the strength card, the 10 of wands and the page of cups. The strength card says that you have developed strength. I do feel like you're much more capable of doing a lot more than you used to be able to do. And I kind of see this here with the Ten of Wands. You know, personally, I like the Ten of Wands because he's about to reach his home in the background. And so those Ten Wands represent his harvest that he is carrying. And he is about to put that harvest down because he's about to reach his home in the background. So he is about to have a harvest, right? After a lot of work. And the strength card is about developing strength. He would have to be pretty strong uh, to carry those 10 wands. So I feel like you are, but it's, but that's how it's popping to my head is like you have developed the capability of doing a lot more than you used to be able to do. Like, I think you can handle more, um, you can handle more pressure in life and you know, all that other good stuff. And because you're stronger, you're getting better results. Uh, you have the Page of Cups here. I do feel like there could be love coming in for you for sure. Uh, fire definitely stands out to me. Um, so again, it could be any sign, general reading. But you you also have the World card. The World can be Capricorn, but it can also be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So it could be one of those signs, but take it how it resonates. You also have a Sagittarius card showing up here. Um, like I said, you have like all the fire signs. So it could be it could be any sign. But I do feel that there could be like an admirer uh, coming in for you or someone that you're going to be interested in. Uh, with the Strength card, you have the Page of Swords here. Um, the Page of Swords, uh, you know, I, I, I totally didn't realize that you have Strength twice as well. But the Page of Swords could be you looking for other ways to get stronger. Sometimes I think when we go through something difficult, it, in, instead of like getting nervous about it, we actually say like, oh, what else can I do? <laughs> and I kind of get that feeling here with the, uh, you know all three of these cards that some of you, it's like you have been through some difficulties and maybe you're having the realization that you know things aren't really as hard as they seem. And because of that, you're like looking for other ways to become strong, which is great. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Five of Cups. And I feel like the Five of Cups is a very common collective energy right now. I think that we are all um, maybe leaving things behind that we once enjoyed. You know, the story of the Five of Cups is that he has lost his taste for wine. The wine has spilt over there in front of him. And so he's grieving the loss of something that he once enjoyed, but he really doesn't any longer. And so it's like he's sad, but it's like he doesn't even enjoy the experience anymore. So he really should turn around. You know, the solution is to see the two cups, then you get the bridge and the castle, which is something much more stable and secure in your life. So there could be like new experiences coming in for you, uh, but these new experiences are gonna be like much more fulfilling, they're probably going to be, you know, a better match to your wants and your desires in your life as well. But I just see you kind of like attracting things that are much, much better. And yeah, I think that is a good thing. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing. But again, really, the Seven of Swords is meant to be a positive card. Uh, golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. And so the Seven of Swords, he is using unconventional warfare. He is stealing those swords from this army that's in the background of the card. And kind of what's popping into my head 
is I feel like you could be attracting a person who is who is unconventional. It's like maybe they do something uh, different with their life than what most people do, or maybe the way they approach their job or their business is different than the way most people do it. The Seven of Swords, funny enough, is also a card of not taking things too seriously. And, and you have the Three of Pentacles. Uh, both the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords have a person that has polka dots on their cloak. Uh, polka dots in the tarot represent taking things too seriously or needing to not take things too seriously. So exactly what I said earlier. I think that if you could practice like non-attachment to the outcome of a relationship, if you, if you are meeting a new person or if you want love in the first place, um, that is going to be the thing that makes it successful. I think that if you need the relationship to go a certain way, then it's not. But I think the Seven of Swords is saying, like, if you can be playful and just look at it as an experience, like I said earlier, as just something that is only going to last a moment of time anyway, because before you know it, you're probably going to be dead like all of us, right? Eventually, we all die if no one has ever told you that before. So instead of taking it too seriously, if you can say, you know what, I'm just going to see how this goes, and I'm not going to overinvest. I'm going to take my time and see what happens. I think you'll have an amazing connection here if, if you want love. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this card that says nothing is yet set in stone. You have this new moon in Sagittarius. It says luck is on your side. So luck is clearly on your side in this reading. And I feel like something is, you are developing something in your life. And I feel like it's something that is going to cause your emotions to overflow. You have the Ace of Cups. I don't really feel like the Ace of Cups is talking about one thing. Uh, the Ace of Cups can just be your own fulfillment. You know, that cup can reach down and fill itself back up and then it can overflow. So it's like a self-filling cup. And I feel once you get to this point in life, that's when you truly set yourself free. So the Ace of Cups says, do the things necessary uh, in your life to set yourself free. And if you do that, you will set yourself free, but also focus on your own fulfillment. And when you become fulfilled on your own, then you can a attract a person, a place, or a thing, whatever you desire. It's like maybe you want a job that fulfills you, but you know, if you fulfill yourself on your own, then you will get a job that fulfills you. But I think this is talking about everything. So I think it's an amazing time to work on that. Uh, you have the world. Uh, the world is about an accomplishment or an achievement. And, and, you know, again, your readings for months now, uh, Libra, have been talking about kind of getting a job or a position. And I, th I feel that's what the accomplishment is. I, I Just looking at your astrology, I feel for many years, you haven't been able to have something that you want, <laughs> or you haven't really maybe had a job that is fulfilling. And I think you could be getting something uh, that is more fulfilling here. Uh, you have the, with the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is about walking away from things that no longer serve you and walking towards something that does, especially in the area of the good stuff. This would say that you're walking towards fulfillment. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Four of Cups. Yep, definitely an offer coming in for you. Uh, again, if you want love, this is a very good reading. I, I think that there could be a new offer coming in. You know, this card says that you have to open up to it. He's been disappointed three times in the past, and maybe you've been disappointed more than three times, but he needs to open up to this opportunity that is in front of him because this is something totally new, totally different. And again, it's showing up with the Ace of Cups. So, you know, this could be your true Ace of Cups. This could also be a job or whatever else you want. Again, maybe you've been disappointed at work and you're finally getting something that fulfills you. Uh, with the world, you have the uh, Hierophant. The Hierophant can represent attracting blessings into the world. He is making this symbol right here with his hands. And that symbol represents a blessing. So he could be attracting a blessing into his life. And I kind of feel like you are. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Five of Wands. Uh, five of Wands in the area of the good stuff is about socializing. You know, the weird thing about this reading that I will tell you as well is this right here. Uh, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands. I feel that some of you could be making your social circle um, smaller. And you could be more focused on uh, quality relationships. You could be focusing more on, you know, surrounding yourself with people who, again, uh, support your ideas. And, and you could be avoiding the people um, who don't support your ideas. You could be avoiding the people who um, kind of like put your ideas down. And, you know, again, I, I kind of got that feeling on the Five of Cups that you could be making your, your circle a little bit smaller. Uh, the Ten of Wands can be about carrying other people's burdens, right? So you could be removing the burdens of other people as well. Uh, you have this bluff card. Um, yeah, I think now is the time for you to do things, Libra, that uh, people don't think you can do. You know, this is, this is a card of calling other people's bluffs. So again, you could be doing things that uh, people don't think you are capable of. 
Uh, you have this practicality card. Uh, keep it simple. I, I think I've said this to you in the past before as well, that it's an amazing time to just like do what works, right? In life, don't try to overcomplicate things. Uh, you have this romance card. Yes, we see a lot of love here. I think even if you don't want love, there could be a person who's coming in for you. And if you don't want love, you don't have to accept it into your life. But again, it's not going to stop a person um, from trying to approach you. So again, I do think there could be love. Uh, you have this choice card. Yeah, you will have a choice whether or not you accept something into your life. This is a Libra card, by the way. This is Mars and Libra. So I think it, you know, it could be a, a good time. You know, this card really says that you need to pick the new path. And you have the two of wands here. So I think it would be an amazing time. Or do you have the two of wands? Am I making that up? <laughs> I feel like I made that up off just now. You don't have the two of wands. I don't know why I said that. But, you know, maybe you, you were meant to have the two of wands. And I, I think this is saying, like, pick the new path. Uh, you have this health card. Yeah, it's an amazing time. Everybody's had something about health. We have mer part of the Mercury retrograde will be in Virgo, so it, you know, or is in Virgo, I should say. So I think that for um, some of you, you know, it'd be a good time to watch your health or to stay healthy. You know, do all the things you need to do to stay healthy. But this looks really, really good. Vir uh, Virgo. Oh my God, Libra uh, looks really good. So thank you for being here, and definitely enjoy your week.